In today's video, I wanted to film my favorite fall and winter lipsticks, lip glosses, and all those good type of things. So if you're interested in seeing that, please keep watching. Okay, so we're now into my favorite season, which is fall. And we're going to be transitioning very quickly here into winter. And those are my two favorite seasons because I love the cold weather. I love wearing black, of course, as you can see. And I just jackets and scarves like that's completely right up my alley so i figured it'd be nice to do this video to show you guys some of the lip products that i love these are not all of my fall and winter lip colors but they are my favorite the first two products i want to talk about are not lipsticks or lip glosses but they are lip balms and these are my favorite two for fall and winter just for keeping my lips super hydrated my all-time favorite would be my Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm. This just really sinks deep into my skin, on my lips, to give me a really intense, hydrating, smooth feeling. This is my favorite. It's actually marketed as a men's product, but I guess I just have dry lips like a man. So this is my all-time favorite, but if I don't have this available, or like I can't get to a Sephora store to get it. My other favorite is my Josie Marin Argan Lip Treatment, which comes in a little pot like this. I will say that this is not as hydrating as this one, but it's still overall a good product. And I believe I got this a while ago in like a 500 point perk from Sephora. Okay. So um, I know for fall, people are really into darker hues, berries and reds and purples and mauve colors. I'm super into those for the fall. I do, of course, like my nude lipsticks and I've yet to find like a pink that I think is perfect for the fall. So I will be on the hunt for that shortly. So if you have a pink lipstick that you love for the fall and winter, please leave it below so I can check it out. But the first one I'm going to talk about is the one I'm wearing now. And this is Media from MAC. It is a satin color. It looks like that. I will leave um, lip swatches at the end of the video. I know I got some feedback from my last video about favorite lip products that you guys wanted to see lip swatches. So I will include them at the end. This is just a really great color. Well, as you can see, it's on my lips now. Um, I love the color. It's very unique. It's like not an oxblood. It's like darker. It's more like a cross between a berry a purple and a black but I just absolutely love it and like I have my face today when I wear this color I like doing kind of a more matted out face very neutral I have a little bit of a light blush and just contour and bronzer so that's a favorite my next one is a nude for the fall and it is max velvet teddy and I'm almost all out of this. It looks like that. I really like this color because it's a brownie pink. The only downside is that it's a matte formula. I think Media is a satin. Yeah. I prefer satins or cream sheens for the fall and winter just because matte lipsticks are a little more drying. But it's such a nice color that I can't give it up. I also have Mocha which I have worn in a Get Ready With Me. I believe it was Dinner at the Armory. And this is like a brownie red nude. It's a little darker than my lips. It looks like this. And I believe this is a satin as well. It's my favorite formula ever because it's pigmented and also smooth and hydrating. So I really love Mocha. And I think that this will look good on everyone's skin tone. Another one I really love in the nude family is one of my favorite nudes ever, which is MAC Modesty. And this is a cream sheen. It looks like this. It's a really pinky peach nude, um, but it's not super opaque. So I think it's nice for the fall and winter time. And it's very, very moisturizing. And when I'm in the dead middle of winter, when I'm like, the lightest that I get. This color looks so amazing on me, but I do think that this looks good on all skin tones. Okay, now we're out of my MAC lipsticks. <laughs> the next one I absolutely love, which I hunted for probably for a couple of months, and I was only able to find it at Kmart. It's my uh, Rimmel Kate lipstick in number 107, and it's like an oxblood color. It looks like this. 
And it's also a really nice formulation. It goes on very smoothly. It's almost like a demi matte. It's kind of matte, but it also is kind of like a satin. Um, I don't know, but this is just an awesome color. And like I said, I was only able to find it at Kmart. I'm not sure where else you can find it, but I really love this color. And the packaging is like so cute for fall also. Uh, one of the two or three uh, NYX lipsticks that I do have is this color in Lala. And it's basically a purple mauve color or mauve. And it looks like so. I really love this color also. Um, it's a very smooth formulation. It can tend to slide around a bit on your lips. But if you use a lip liner or like an invisible lip liner, that'll work really well. And these are great because they're only like a few dollars. And I believe I bought this off eBay because they didn't have it in any stores near me. Um, another color that I really love, which I just recently discovered in the summertime, is my Mayb no, not Maybelline, my Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick in color 660, Berry Hot. And this is just a really nice berry purple color. It's not too deep, it's not too bright, it's just perfect. It is a dupe for Max Up The Amp, but for some reason Up The Amp looks horrible on my lips. I'm not sure if it's my lip pigmentation or my skin tone but I had to return it because it looked disgusting but this actually looks really nice and it photographs really well I think this is nice if you're trying to do a brighter purple in the fall time but not go like neon purple and you don't want something too dark like a berry it's just absolutely great and the formulation of these Revlon lipsticks are to die for I love it it's fairly inexpensive you can get it at Ulta and if you use a coupon you can get it for like four or five bucks Another lip product I like is my NARS um, Satin Lip Pencil in Rikugin. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. R-I-K-U-G-I-E-N. Hmm, I don't know. But it's a really pretty color. You can't really see it, but I will include lip swatches, like I said. This one is like a, a shimmery, satiny, nude mauve color it's really pretty it has like a glossy look to it even though it says it's a satin lip pencil but um i really love this color and i actually think i got this one also in a sephora 500 point perk and it's great i love these pencil type of lip products for going to work because you can put them on without a mirror i find that the pencil type of lip products tend to stay on your lips better so if you work in like an office environment or at a school or something where you can't get to a mirror and touch up your makeup um, very often. I think these products are great. And in that same family, I have my Sonia Kashuk um, Velvety Matte Lip Crayon, which is almost like a dupe for the uh, NARS one, except this one isn't glossy. It has a really matte finish. And this is in the color Mulberry Nude, which I actually included in my back to school tutorial so I'll, I'll link that down below if anybody wants to see it but it looks like that it's just basically like a mulberry color it's like a deep mauve nudie color I don't know it's really nice and also I think this will look great on everyone and one product which I recently got into that I have been absolutely loving. If I could like marry this lip product, I probably would because I'm crazy and obsessed. And it is my Sephora Cream Lip Stain in 04 Endless Purple. Um, Endless Purple isn't written on it, but just 04 is. And I'm not going to bring out the wand, but it basically just looks like this. Oh, <sighs> when I tell you guys that this... I think I included it in a haul in the summertime. I'm not sure, but I absolutely love this lip color. It's very um, creamy, duh, because it's a cream lip stain. It goes on very creamy, and it doesn't dry out your lips, which I like, because a lot of matte lip pencils or lipsticks, depending on the formulation, they can really dry your lips out. And in the fall and wintertime, you don't want crusty, dusty lips. So this is perfect, and... It's not inexpensive. It's sold at Sephora for about $13, but this product is like amazing and I can't wait to go pick up like a whole bunch of more colors because it's awesome. I definitely think Sephora collection makeup and skincare is um, underrated. I just, they have really great products and this is definitely one of them. So I will be picking up more of these colors because I love them. 
And the last one I actually have to talk about is a lip combo. And it's featuring my Chanel lip gloss in number 46 Giggle, which looks like this. It's like a muted out nude purple mauve color. As you can see, I really like either really dark colors or mauve colors because I just think they're just really nice for fall. So I like to pair that on top of my NARS lipstick in Honolulu Honey, which is like a perfect nude lipstick for my skin tone. And this combo looks really great. Of course, you can wear this on your own, but because my lips are more pigmented, I like to mute them out with a nude lipstick, which is like a trick that anybody can use. You can either use nude color um, lip liners or lipstick. Since I don't really have a nude lip liner that I want to waste, I just use a lipstick. And this combo together looks absolutely amazing. And the last three things I want to share with you guys are just some of my favorite lip liners that I use with probably all of these products with the exception of maybe the nude ones because I don't really do nip up uh, nip. I don't really do lip liners with the nude ones, but if I do, I'll use some of my more natural colors that are over on my vanity. But they're all by NYX. Um, I do know a lot of people like MAC lip pencils, but... I'm the type of person, I don't mind spending money on products if the quality is there. I do think MAC uh, lip liners are, you know, they have really good quality, but they're like 20 bucks, and I'd rather spend 20 bucks on a blush or a foundation rather than a lip liner. So I get all my lip liners from either NYX or you know other cheaper lines so one of my favorites is NYX nutmeg and this is a dark brown well it's like a a medium mid-tone brown and I use this with some of my lighter lipsticks maybe my nude ones if I want to really darken them up and provide more of a contrast between my skin and the lipstick I'll use nutmeg I use my lip liner in 813 plush red for my red oh my god I feel like I didn't show one of my reds. Well, I'll have to find that and add that in the video. But um, I like NYX Hot Plush Red for my reds. And then I like NYX Burgundy for those deep mauve colors or like the Oxbloods. This one looks really nice. So I almost forgot my number one red lipstick of all time and for every season, I don't know how I forgot it, but here it is. It's MAC uh, Ruby Woo, which most people know about and it is a matte formulation. It's, oh, it's absolutely fabulous. I use this mainly in the fall and winter because when I'm my lightest complexion, this just looks absolutely amazing contrasted against my skin tone. In the summertime and springtime, I like to use orangey reds, but I still do like this color. This is absolutely fabulous. I think this will look great on anyone's skin tone. It's just like, oh, oh I just love this red color. Um, the only downfall, of course, is that it's a matte formula and it can be drying. So you want to make sure you apply that lip balm beforehand. A little trick that I like doing about five minutes before I apply any drying lip balm or I mean any drying lipstick or just lipstick in general in the fall and winter. I like to lather this Jack Black lip balm all over my lips to get them really nice and hydrated and then I blot it out so that I can get a matte finish. Okay, so that is all I have to show you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Stay tuned for the swatches at the end of the video and please leave down below any of your favorite fall and winter lipsticks or if you have a video like this on your channel, I would love to go check it out because I'm a certified makeup addict. Um, I don't need any more lipsticks but I'm always on the hunt for them because I have no self-control and I can't help myself. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.